How's it going everyone? My name is Dew Girl and welcome back to Dragon Fable. Last time we left off in the Reimagined series, we had just been invited to a gala by the king himself. Now, let's go relay that information to uh, Kara and see what she thinks. So, to the Book of Lore, End of Magic, Travel Map, yeah, Oak Lore. And then to Salonesca. And to Halda. Takara. Quests. And then the Gala. I'm I'm just kidding. You don't have to be afraid. Sorry. So, my name is Tristina. What's yours? My daddy told me not to talk to strangers. That's, that's very good advice. Uh. Hmm, <laughs> yeah, awkward silence for the win. Is that a dragon? Yes, indeed it is. Th this is Sparks. It's very cute. Cute! I will burn you, kid! Mm. Cute. <laughs> Sparks says thanks. I'm Lynn. Nice to meet you, Lynn. Silence for the win. Uh, why are you, are, are you out here so late? Do you live nearby? Do you want me to escort you home? It's okay. When my dad isn't home, I like to go on adventures. But it's late. Aren't you afraid of monsters or bandits? No. Oh. I see. <sighs> Does your dad know you're going on adventures? Yes. Really? If I can find a Bible verse about obedience to our parents, I will definitely put that at the bottom of your screen. No. No. You know what? I don't want to get involved. You obviously look like someone who can take care of themselves. So I'll just leave this chair here and get going. Mm-hmm. But this is my spot, so I will be back. Eventually. If you want... You can come over too, if you'd like. You have my permission. I excuse me? This is this place belongs to me. I am the princess of all these lands and the whole world, and you have my permission to come here. Oh, are you now? Whoa. Okay, thanks. This is such an honor. Bye-bye. Um, bye. Where's the chair? <laughs> what was that about? Yeah, I... I don't know what was up with that girl either. That was too weird. I don't like her. Oh, come on. You're just upset she called you cute. Something feels wrong about her. She smells like death. And flowers. She was rather strange, even 
even for a kid, wasn't she? Well, we've got bigger things to worry about. Let's get some sleep and return to Solonesca. The gala's tomorrow night, and I'm getting nervous. You'll be fine. I'm coming with you. I am sorry, Tristina. Sparks can't come with you. What? Why are you so surprised? Sparks could never come with you. It's simply too risky. I know you somehow managed to smuggle them into the city last time, but this is an entirely this is a different matter entirely. I knew I'd screw up eventually. On the line, I mean. You can't just show up to the Royal Gala with your dragon in tow. Security will be provided by the Rose, and they will not be accommodating. Oh, come on! I'll just put sparks in my backpack again. It'll be fine. Yeah, thanks for the um, encouraging hop there, Cappy. Not again. It's a mess in there. And I ate all the snacks last time, too. Uh, what did Sparks say? Apparently, I need to throw out some junk and get more snacks. Yeah, but I still want to go with you. Maybe it's for the best. I shouldn't have to leave you behind. But the Rose would jump at any excuse to kick me out. Or worse. But we're a team! Where you go, I go! I know. I'm sorry, Sparks, but Kara's right. It would be too risky. I'll be careful, okay? Fine. But if anything happens to you, I'm burning the whole city to the ground. I'm so sorry for this, Tustina. I know you two are close. But Sparks simply can't go with you this time. Yeah, I understand. I'll be okay. Someone else will be accompanying you, however, just in case something goes wrong. Oh? Who? Melissa. The fairy princess? Precisely. Um, but she's magical as well. How? As royalty, once disguised, she'll be able to blend in with the crowd. It took some arguing, but she's already on her way to Swordhaven. She will aid you in case there's any trouble. Very well. I know this isn't how you envisioned it, but it will have to do. Yeah, I'd rather have Sparks, but I guess Melissa's okay too. In a pinch. <laughs> ah! Your friend Daniel's sole ally, Batel, Batil, was here earlier. He dropped off the outfits, and I must say, they look absolutely dashing. The fabric is beautiful. It's so pleasant to the touch, and so, f and so fragile, yet durable. I don't know how else to describe it. Yeah, so waving is something else. Well? Well what? Try it on, of course! Oh, alright. Okay, I know last time I went with uh, light gray, and let's see, trim. Yeah, okay. Oh, I can't change that color? Oh, I thought I could. Let's see. Uh, uh, let's see, base color. Yeah, oh, that's the base. Okay. Oh, shoot, no. Well, it does look more earthy. White. Is that as white as it'll go? Yeah, that's as white as it'll go. Okay, silver. 
Yeah, a little, yeah, a little bit darker. Okay. Oh, I love that dress. Yes, I'm a girl, so I'll be wearing a dress. Duh! <laughs> Oh, Tristina! You look absolutely marvelous! Wow. Especially since I was directly invited by the king himself. I just hope he and anyone else will listen. Of course. Now, remember, while talking to the king, Please try to mind your manners. Try to keep calm. The highborn nobles of Swordhaven are sheltered and fed lies about magic by the rose. They must hear the reason. And what if they don't want to listen to reason? Then your words must be more forceful. The nobles benefit greatly from their arrangements with the rose. They lie to themselves that it's for the protection of Gringard rather than profit. If you must shatter that lie, do it. This will be as treacherous as any an environment as any battlefield, Tristina. I see. Thanks for the advice. But please, try to have a nice time. Enjoy yourself, if you can find the time and space. You... You deserve it. Yeah, with all that fudge we've been through. Yeah, any, anything else? <laughs> well, thank you, Kara. I'll be off, then. May the winds guide you, Tristina. Good luck. Here we go. <laughs> I think for this guy I'll do the same voice as last time. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed guests, May I have your attention, please? The one we've all been waiting for has finally arrived. Fashionably late. Give me a break! I got trapped in an outhouse on my way here. Scandalous. Now, may I present to you Terima of Dragons, collector of powerful artifacts. Slayer of Titans. Master of the Elements. Mayor of a small town by the ocean. Chicken Cow Resta Bringer of the Sun The Hero of Falcon Reach Defender of the Oppressed Everyone's Object of Desire Savior of Law And the terrible book, the one and only Lady Tristina. Sorry, Miss. <clears throat> Your Majesty. Greetings, Tristina. I'm so glad you could make it. In these uncertain times, it is important that we honor those 
who selflessly defend Green God and her people. And it's time for all of us to come together and strengthen our resolve to protect our subjects. I'm sure you are familiar with some of the guests are here already. The Rose has been so instrumental in keeping the peace. Jainaya herself, in fact, has... That's exactly what I want to talk with you about, Your Majesty. Oh, there will be plenty of time for that later. For now, please enjoy yourself, Tristina. Eat, mingle, let us celebrate the rose and its achievements. Wait, what? This gala is in their name? Not everything can be about you all the time, Tristina. Now, if you'll excuse me, I do have other guests to greet. Your Majesty, please wait! Hi, Tristina. Wait, what are you doing here? This is a royal gala, Tristina. I'm a princess. I don't didn't exactly have a choice. After I kept asking father about the rose, he insisted I come and learn of their accomplishments. That doesn't seem fair. It isn't, but if I don't play the role of princess some of the time, it's more difficult to excuse my excursions. Is King Alton that controlling? No, no, we just, we don't really talk to each other much. I don't want li to, to listen to him to t I don't want to listen to him tell me what to do and he dismisses whatever I try to say ah uh, but what about you I didn't think you you were the gala type wait a minute you must be that special ga guest father mentions the winner of the tournament right this is perfect we can explain things together. He can't dismiss both of us, right? I heard what about about what happened in the Betrabung swamp. In Betrabung, after the failed peace talks, Janai's pulled her forces back for now. But I'm worried about what she might be planning. We need to speak to my father. Yeah, I'm supposed to have an audience with him later. You're welcome to join me. It's a plan. With with that of the out of the way, where are the other princesses? What do they think of the rose? Oh, Tara's lucky. She's out exploring some eastern country across the sea. I doubt she's been paying too much attention to the politics back home. And Brittany is sick. Oh no, I'm sorry. I think, I think she's going to be fine. Janaya has been helping. Ah. How is your, how is the king? He seems to be in high spirits. He, he wholeheartedly believes in Janaya. I got that feeling. I think I th she's preying on him, on our misfortune. I bring it up every now and then, but he refuses to listen to me. What do you mean? Tristina, our mother, died because of magic. And with my older sister's health, I don't know how she's reassuring him, but I know that she's been very convincing. My father may appear strong, but he's hurting even after all these years. When Janiah first came to my father, he was hopeful but skeptical. After all, she is good at what she does, 
and people saw it. But then when she then she showed him something, and it tipped the scales. His outlook on Janiah changed. I don't know what it was, but it changed his per perspective entirely. He thinks she can protect Green God, protect all of law even. And where the king goes, the nobles follow. The Rose certainly never lacks it for funding. He even allowed the Rose to construct their ivory tower in the middle of the city. To him, Janiah can do no wrong. I... I didn't realize how involved he was with supporting the Rose. It might be more difficult to change his mind than I thought, but we still have to try. I agree. Thank you, Tristina. Now, as much as I don't want to greet the other guests, I better get going. Yes, of course. Until later, Princess Victoria. Go on, have some fun. Mingle with the other guests. Enjoy the refreshments. See you soon. Okay, uh, let's see. <coughs> Ooh, that's a lot of voice acting. Oh gosh, I'm tiny compared to them. I guess it's all perspective and all, you know? I heard rumor that King Altham is going to marry Janiah. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Janiah? The Queen? Preposterous! It would certainly be convenient. You must agree. Why are they so big? I get perspective and all that, but good gravy. say the Rose has spies everywhere. Good on them. The better to protect the people, I say. Hmm. Moglenberry juice, my lady. I think... I think I've had a little too... a little too much Moglenberry juice. Should... Do you need help? Help? <clears throat> you know who needs help? The king! <laughs> Is he in danger? He looks fuzzier than usual. Maybe you really have had too much juice. If you say so. Fuzzy hero, if you say so. I've been wanting to do the drunk voice for so long! <laughs> Woo! Okay. <clears throat> I like how I'm walking and not running. Do you? Did you hear about the recent magical attacks on some of the outlying villages? Those poor people. We must do something to help. Perhaps we should increase funding to the Rose. They're stretched fairly thin as it is. What with the recent events? And let them take the glory and fame for themselves? I think not. Elections are coming up soon, you know. Uh-huh. It's more about glory and fame, really. But I digress. Enjoying the gala, huh? Tristino? Oh yeah, we'll catch up with you later. Much later. Oh, finally. Keep your eyes open. I've had good information that this gala has been targeted by anti-Rose sympathizers. I'll keep that in mind. Are you done cozying up to the high and mighty? <laughs> Melissa? Well, look at you, princess. Oh. Not feeling it. 
hate dresses. I mean to ask, how did you... Magic. Hopefully subtle enough not to raise attention. It's working for now. I can hide my wings very easily. As for my ears, I cut them. What? That was a joke. I'm known to the joke. I conceal them with magic too. Oh, this dress is so constraining. My sword is sticking to my thighs. I won't even ask. Good. Have you spoken to the king yet? Yes, but I haven't had a chance to use my royal audience card yet. Well, get to it then. I can only keep this up for so long, and we don't know when. Hello, Tristina. Ah, the Ice Queen herself. Sorry, I've been waiting to use that one. <clears throat> also, you probably know that coming up is my favorite. This, I did speech. I'll try to do my best on that. Yeah, Melissa's starting to sweat. Janaya? I had heard you would be gracing us with your presence. Please, do introduce me to your... Enchanting companion. This is Melissa. She's a friend. And how are you? You look positively cold. Thank you. You look lukewarm at best. I think I'm going to need some ice for that burn, but I don't want history to repeat itself. Oh, you are hilarious. Thank you. Lady Janaya, Lady Tristina, I bid you farewell. What is it? Some wood I sent you a bouquet of flowers. They were delivered to your private quarters. And this is urgent how? I I don't I don't know. I think they just appeared there. I am sorry for interrupting. I was told it was urgent. So sorry. Please excuse me. You are excused. Thank you. Have a pleasant gala. Secret admirer? I hope this event is to your liking. It was, until you showed up. Do we really need to do this? Can't we be civil? Aren't we being civil right now? You are exhausting, Tristina. You're one to talk. I beg your pardon? Janiah, I'm sorry, but it must be said. What you and the Rose are doing is wrong.
You might want to be careful. Everyone is listening. Let them listen. I want them to hear you, how you justify yourself, your actions, and the actions of the Rose. In Betrabug Swamp, for example, the Clawkin and Drov the Drovir have been... You are such a brute, Christina. You need to be the center of attention, don't you? You claim it. You are the hero, aren't you? Well, let me tell you something. You are not the only one who can bear that title. You are not special. You were not the one who woke up in a world on the brink of destruction caused by your closest friends. I was. You were not the one who tried to help people when the elves invaded Gringard and threw the land into chaos. I was. You were not the one who managed to crush the onslaught saving countless lives, the one people turn to. I was. You were not the one who had to deal with all that pressure and come out on top. I was. You were not the one who, in the midst of all this destruction and chaos, founded an organization that to this day is bringing peace to this land I was! You are not the hero of this story! I am! Janaya. My, my. What a spectacle. Now, that was worth the trip. Would you not say? Who are you? I am Desiree Deuce. And this is Zlatomira. We represent the Maddlestone of Asville. And by the queen of the shapeless, you, Lady Jemaya, are to come with us. Jeremiah, what is the mean of this? They are no one. I will take care of them. This does not concern you, your majesty. You are meddling in affairs you cannot hope to comprehend. Your trespasses near the fissure have not gone unnoticed. You are to be brought before the Magistrate for questioning. And if I refuse? In that event, we will be forced to take action. We have this place surrounded. Anyone who threatens my king subjects threatens this kingdom. Explain yourselves. We have no qualm with you. King of Gondor. However, if your subject will not come with us... Janaya, explain! Hmm. Tristina, escort the king and the princess to safety. What? Please, do as I say. Protect the royal family. This is going to get messy. You will not surrender, then. Does it look like it? They will. I knew this wouldn't end well. Your Majesty, Victoria, come with me. Janiah. 
we're not done. Get the I'm sorry, I don't know why I draw I drew that we're out I, I was expecting uh, to say it's not over or something like that. I forgot they tweaked it. <coughs> I'm sorry. Oh gosh, I hope I can fix that. And if not, again, I'm sorry. Okay, you knew something was going to happen. Yes, we did. Okay, so that's it for today's Dragon Fable. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, please like and comment down below. I really do appreciate it. Take care of each other. God bless you all. And I'll see you all later. Oh boy. Things are getting heated up for Janiah. I've been waiting to use that joke for so long. Thank <laughs> you.